Once during a time when the earth was simple, the sun shone brighter than anything. The people were grateful and rejoiced every time the sun rose. He brought them joy and light. He was even the source of their warmth. But he was lonely, all by himself in the vast skies. He would look down at the people dancing in his radiance and wonder if he was simply destined to a life of solitude. That was the price he had to pay for being the brightest, he reasoned. Then there was the moon. As the sun grew weary and began to disappear, she would rise into the sky flanked by millions of stars. Her radiance was a sad kind of beauty, one that went unnoticed as the people slept. The stars watched her with woefulness, hoping that one day they could get close enough so she wouldn't feel so empty. But they couldn't. The moon was untouchable, surrounding herself with a blanket of darkness through the cold nights. Until one day, when the sun was sliding out of the heavens, he caught a glimpse of her. She was speaking up, a rare sight of her being exposed to the light. And while the sun could shine, he knew that the moon could only glow. And a faithful whisper triumphed an arrogant shout any day. So just as the stars were wandering into the night, the sun fell in love like a snowball hurtling down a mountain. How he wished to see her more than the fleeting moments he shared with her both at dusk and dawn. But the moon was untouchable, uncurable, unfreeable. Go, she whispered to him one of those nights, her voice as sweet and sorrowful as the last light of morning. Go and let me breathe, for you and I have decided fates. You illuminate the day and I cast a glow on the night. We will never be. Our connection would go against what all people believe, all they know. During the summers, he would stay a little longer, just in case she would change her mind. But it was no use. Don't you dare abandon the blessing of your light for my gloom. For once when we grazed fingertips, it spilled the darkest shadows. Those were the last words the moon was strong enough to speak to the sun. They called it the solar eclipse.